the spot prices for lithium because you know some people are suggesting that it's a little bit of price depression coming through via the way of China, but, it, but is it realistically just a, a fundamental supply demand issue or do you think there's, there's other factors in play right now? No, I think it's supply demand and we've had prices at very elevated levels, as you know. So uh, there are three price benchmarks that matter. There's lithium carbonate, which you just referred to. There's lithium hydroxide, the product we intend to make in the U.S. And there's spodumene concentrate, which is one of the key feedstocks. Uh, spodumene prices are down probably 40 percent, but but still up eight or eight or nine times from where they were two years ago. Lithium hydroxide prices in the low 40s. Uh, are down 50%, but still up three or four times from where they were two years ago. So pricing is still very strong. Uh, my expectation is that pricing will moderate here and plateau and then begin to recover again. I'm very bullish on pricing uh, over the medium term. And, and the reason why I ask you that as well, and you did mention spotamine, is you know you, you must know of what Pilbara Minerals over there in Australia, um, a little bit of home bias, is doing in terms of s constructing their own market. And I know you have a lot of off-take commitments, but... As you ramp up production, as you, you look at other um, means of production in terms of other sites that you are looking to develop out, is that something that you'd consider taking control over your own production in terms of selling it into a market directly to suppliers rather than going through the agreed upon price via LME or via any other kind of metric? Yeah, what Pilbara did was interesting. Starting a year or so ago, they started to auction some of their spots. I mean, they're a leader. They're a big producer. Uh, so they've got long-term contracts with several customers. Uh, but they have excess. Uh, they had excess production, at least. And they were able to sell that via auction directly, which is really interesting. It brought a lot of clarity to the market, really led the market, I think, in terms of understanding how scarce spodumene was and how much demand there was for it. And more recently, what they did, rather than auction the spodumene, they've arranged to have their material pulled by a Chinese converter. So Tober will take back the lithium hydroxide. They'll then sell that into the market. That's an interesting strategy. That's something we do think about. We're, we're not going to do that in the near term, but we hope to do that in the medium term as we're still building our own lithium hydroxide conversion capacity. We want to, we want to get to that end market where we're producing the value-added chemical that the car companies and battery companies need.